Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to briefly introduce you to a project that I have recently undertaken where I have attempted to compile a large number of resources on indefinite life extension. In fact, I've created a web page on the site of my online magazine, The Rational Argumentator, with that title. You can access it at rationalargumentator.com slash capital R-I-L-E dot html. So why am I doing this? In short, as the great Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. And what many people may not know about Francis Bacon is that he actually was an advocate of indefinite human life extension. He tried to achieve it, of course, through somewhat pre-scientific means, including experiments in alchemy, but he was one of the few very forward-thinking people of his time who actually believed that the conquest of death was both feasible and desirable. And another great inspiration of this endeavor is Denis Diderot, the famous Enlightenment philosopher who is best known for his encyclopedia, the first real effort to systematize human knowledge across a broad array of disciplines in an effort to bring about, as the name of the Age of Enlightenment suggests, a general dissemination of public knowledge. A very successful effort, as it turned out, and hopefully an effort that could be replicated again with something so important as lengthening human lifespans and lifting this terrible death sentence that currently afflicts all of us. So what are the purposes of this endeavor? I'm going to show you the actual web page and how to navigate it, but first I'd like to discuss a little bit why I am doing this. First of all, I would like to assist in the education of the general public regarding the feasibility and desirability of indefinite human life extension. The idea is there are many scientists working on lengthening human lifespans right now, either with a direct purpose of doing so, as is the case for Aubrey de Grey or David Sinclair or Ray Kurzweil, or as part of a deliberate effort to combat a particular disease, such as cancer or Alzheimer's or heart disease or ALS. There are so many brilliant people who are doing research in a variety of areas needed to essentially conquer the perils that afflict us. But many in the general public are not aware of these efforts. So the idea is, how do you get them to be aware? Of course, there's Google, there's the ability to search for content on the internet, but that content is very diffuse. It's spread out across a variety of venues. So I thought I would create a page that would put together a lot of links to a lot of this content that is currently scattered and amplify that compilation over time so that people can come to this page and conveniently find not everything, of course, because it's impossible to put the entirety of the content of the internet on any given subject on one page, but a lot of useful knowledge on this subject. Second purpose as I mentioned, is to compile links to a broad array of resources in one convenient location so as to enable easier discovery. And third, I would like to inspire new support for and contributions toward the movement for indefinite life extension. Knowledge is power, and it is empowering when it is discovered. I think a lot of people right now are in a place where they would be receptive to information about indefinite human life extension, if they thought that efforts toward it were already being pursued. And of course, since they are, and those of us who have had more awareness of the field know this already, but if new people can be drawn into this kind of awareness, then we're going to have more of a public outcry toward the perpetuation of this research, toward the funding of this research, and toward the reform of our cultural and ethical understandings about the desirability of life and the recognition of death as an actual peril, as an actual bad thing to be fought and confronted, as opposed to being accepted gracefully or whatever the dominant paradigm would have you believe. What are the types of content that I'm trying to synthesize for this project? 
Well, first of all, there are a broad variety of orientations for this content. I'm trying to focus not just on the scientific aspects of indefinite human life extension, but also, just as importantly, the ethical and cultural aspects. Why is it desirable? How can it be justified? And what would be the implications in a society that achieves indefinite human life extension? There are many articles that are currently there and many that I hope to add. General informational resources such as encyclopedia entries that help expand one's background knowledge. Videos of a large number of types. There are so many interviews on YouTube with leading thinkers in this area, people like Aubrey de Grey or Max Moore or David Sinclair, and I am constantly on the lookout for those. Of course, it's very enjoyable for me to discover this information myself, but when I discover it, I also want it to have more of an effect than just on me personally. And in order to culturally spread awareness of this, one needs to have not just factual content, but an aesthetic paradigm built around it. So art and music are important. I've created a little bit of that. Fiction and poetry, first of all, to envision the kind of world that would exist with indefinite human life extension. And secondly, to portray it in a desirable light so that people can understand that, yes, this is good. This is something we should strive toward. And your role in this is very important. No matter who you are, no matter what your background is, indefinite life extension needs you. And as a result, I have made this compilation for you. Please feel free to recommend any content for listing. I don't intend to ever close off this page to any further revisions. Of course, there are going to be new developments that will have a bearing on indefinite life extension. I'm going to keep track of them. I'm going to add them but I need not be alone in this. Please email me or make a post on the channel for this video and recommend something for inclusion. As it stands right now, even though I'm in the very beginning stages of this project, there are many days of content available. If you start reading the articles and start watching the videos, you'll find quickly that it turns into a multi-day project. And that's exactly the impression that I want to convey. There is so much information out there, and it is only intended to expand in the future. I encourage you to delve into it and explore it thoroughly and find other related information. It will improve your understanding of this area greatly, and it will make you a more articulate communicator of it to others. And furthermore, you need not just consume this content. You should create your own. In whatever area your strengths lie. So if you're a scientist, create content related to life extension science. If you're an artist, create some art. If you are a fiction writer, write a short story and contact me. Either I can publish it on The Rational Argumentator or you can have it published somewhere else and just let me know and I'll link to it. There are so many different ways to advance these ideas. And finally, please spread these ideas to the general public. The advantage of having this compilation is that you can just give one URL to people, and by all means, don't treat it as anything exclusive. As I said, it can't possibly ever be an exhaustive compilation, but it can definitely help introduce people to the subject in combination with a large array of other sites and YouTube channels that are already devoted to indefinite human life extension. This resource is, I believe, a welcome addition. So with that introduction, let me briefly walk you through the page itself. It looks like a standard web page, a standard page of the Rational Argumentator. After the brief introduction at the top, which also explains its purpose, you see an index. And really, all this is is a set of internal hyperlinks generated using anchor tags on the page. So you can go to articles various years. Say you want to go to articles for the year 2009, and there you have a broad array of articles. Now currently many of them are mine because naturally I'm aware of my own writing on the subject. I'm hoping to populate this as time moves forward with many more works by others. General informational resources such as Wikipedia entries and excerpts from textbooks, videos by author, so let's say you want to click to find commentaries by Michio Kaku, the 
famous physicist on life extension. He has some interesting things to say. And toward the bottom, these sections, of course, are intended to grow greatly in the future. You have some sections for art, fiction, music, and poetry. So this is intended to be a very intuitive setup to navigate. What I'm really hoping to happen is that this grows into something much bigger, a comprehensive resource that a lot of people will come to, a lot of people will use, a lot of people will refer others to in order to disseminate this broader public awareness. The scientists are already doing an excellent job and of course they need support, both agreement with and understanding of what they're doing, as well as financial support from the general public. If we want that to happen, we need to draw more of the general public in to this endeavor and have them contribute in whatever way they can. Thank you very much. I look forward to your feedback, to your recommendations, and I really do hope that you explore this page in the coming days and months and keep coming back to it as it gets improved.